So in this first segment, I'm going to answer the question, what is ideation? You might have heard it being a buzzword every once in a while over the past several years. And as companies have talked more and more about creativity in the workplace, ideation seems to come along with it. So for me, ideation is a process to help people, in this case students, develop truly original ideas. It's a procedure that one would go through when confronted with a problem in order to develop the right solution. So similar to the art room, it's a process that we can teach our students to help them figure out what it is that they're going to do before moving forward. And it's a critical process, because when the process of ideation is either rushed or not respected, it can result in typical or unoriginal ideas, literal or obvious answers to prompts, and overall uninteresting subject matter. And all of those negatives can then have a significant impact on student engagement. We know how challenging the art making process can be, and in order to persist through that process, the student has to be interested and motivated in what they're creating. And so if they don't have an idea that's going to help them overcome those feelings when it gets tough and they're tired of working on it, then it's going to be easier for them to lose engagement with the project. So having a truly original idea is critical to the start of what you're going to do. Every great piece of artwork started with a great idea. Now coming up next, we're going to talk about how ideation relates to creativity.